What's up, baby girl? <laughs> Yo, time to continue on. Time to continue on with another episode of Freestyle Week. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third, Ernest, I'm Ernest Adiano The Third, y'all guys third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now, as you may or may not know, this is freestyle week, meaning that the entire week we are doing nothing but freestyles off of, we are doing nothing but freestyles off of radio shows from rappers either freestyling or Five Fingers of Death or Rittens or whatever they got, we doing it. And this video, as you can see, this is Andy Minio's Five Fingers of Death freestyle on Sway in the Morning. The Five Fingers of Death format is one of the most iconic freestyle formats that's out there for radio shows on one of the most popular rap, hip hop radio shows of all time on Shade 45, Sway in the Morning. But that's all that I gotta say. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. Links are down in the description. Our boy Andy follows me, so you should follow me as well. But here we got Andy Mignot rips the five fingers of death. Let's get it. This is Sway. 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 Wake up in the morning. Ass up. In the morning. In the morning. I'm shaking. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust out your eyes. But, you know, in certain instances, it's just my opinion that that really matters in, um, in this moment. <laughs> My opinion is that I think we need to get into that five fingers of death with Andy dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a second since I've invited somebody to do this because I wasn't sure if they were ready. But he's been on rap. That boy Andy done lost a little bit of weight. I see you, boy. Beat number one, Sway in the Morning, Shade 4-5. Andy Minio, home of the true MCs, home uh, of the hyena. Look, look. Yeah, this is so disrespectful. I'm sorry that I didn't do it sooner. They talking that manure. Snakes coming uh -huh. from my head, that's Medusa. But uh -huh. watch how I maneuver. I ain't fly, man, I'm lunar. Uh, I got uh -huh. my time. I ain't fly, I'm lunar. Like a lunar eclipse. Like like we, we're, we're more than fly, we orbit. And he say snakes coming from my head like Medusa. Obviously, Medusa head. Versace, Versace. Medusa head on me like I look my... And he said they talking that manure, dog. They talking that shit. I ain't fly, man, I'm lunar. Uh, I got no time for high opinions with them low commitments. I hear that chat from a distance, I don't never listen. Art critics, just artists that never made it. So what I care what you're saying, I'm too busy creating. I can tell that y'all some crap. Art critics are crit art critics are artists who never made it. Not everybody could be a rapper, not everybody, not everybody can make art, but everybody can be a critic. I can tell that y'all some crabs hating on the low, trying to shoot my dream down. Why don't you chase your own? I think Ooh. I struck a nerve. Matter of fact, I hit a bone. I got a word for them rappers who swear that they on the throne. Uh, also, you I got a word for the rappers who swear that they on the throne. I think this is at the and I don't know if he's calling shots at Jay Z or, or Kanye West. This is just the this is the sentiment of anybody who wants to be the best that they coming for the throne but watch the throne is obviously a jay-z kanye west collabo he said all the haters on the low trying to shoot my dreams down why don't you go and chase your own maybe you would make your maybe you would make something of your name in the world if you wasn't too busy worrying about my name i got a word for them rappers who swear that they on the throne uh also you the king of rap where your kingdom at i got a queen of fly once sitting on my lap you bought the lot of rappers told you i'll bring it back that's all i gotta say root your ball i don't want to play uh, this is so disrespectful, hip hop. Oh my God, that beat switch up, bro. This is one of the things about about the Five Fingers of Death is can you keep can you keep the flow? Can you keep everything going while the beat switches up to the next? And and can it not throw off your momentum? People can't even think and chew gum at the same time, much less try and freestyle over five different beats in in like a sequential order. Gotta say, whoop your ball, I don't wanna play. Uh, this is so disrespectful. Hip hop raised me, talking back to my parents. Drop that Neverland, but yo, I still haven't landed. Look, mama, you don't gotta drop it low if you raise your standards. Raising this. You ain't gotta drop it low if you raise your standards. You ain't gotta shake that ass if you just raise your standards up just a little bit. And he said, I dropped that Neverland, which I assume is one of his albums, because he talked about Neverland 2, dropping that song. Drop Neverland, but I never landed. Ooh, I'm still too fly out here. Look, mama, you don't gotta drop it low if you raise your standards. Raising this banner, mama, raise me with manners. Could have put me in a box, how I'm raising this brand. Uh, hard to stay focused with standing in front. <laughs> Yo, son, could have put me in this box, how I'm raising this brand? Like, literally, he's, he's his branding. This is one of the things that I say about him, and I've told him this, and we've talked about it, like, about the branding and why it takes so long to put tracks out, and, you know, it's all about the branding and the marketing and the video. It's all gotta be, it's all gotta be perfect before a song ever comes out. We don't have time for certain tracks to not do as well because the branding wasn't there. So everything's gotta be perfect before the track comes out. He said they could have put me in this box with how 
how I'm raising this brand, bro. Like raising it, like raising the bar, but also raising, like raising brand, the cereal that you buy in a box. <sighs> that was a bar. Could've put me in a box, how I'm raising this brand. Uh, hard to stay focused when standing in front of cameras, but they don't understand it. They don't see that from my vantage. All glory to the most high. All the praise be. Got the mother rappers sweating like they need the AC. It ain't all about who you know, cause bleak new Jay-Z. If it ain't sway in the morning, bad idea trying to play me. I know Oh, 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 he said it ain't value who you know, cause bleak, cause bleak new Jay-Z. Like Memphis Bleak never popped off in the way that he could have. I mean, it's not Jay-Z's fault, but if you know one of the best MCs, one of the best rappers to ever do it in multiple people's top 10 and for a reason, Jay-Z, like it obviously ain't only about who you know, because if you know Jay-Z, if that was all that mattered, you would be at the top no matter what, but Bleak never popped off in that way. And he said, got all the mother rappers sweating like they need the AC, like they hot, fire. It ain't sway in the morning, bad idea trying to play me. I know dudes with so much money that it ain't funny. Type of money make you laugh at jokes when it ain't funny. Type of money go outside looking bummy. Still bag a supermodel, they don't care if he ugly. It's politics. Yo, I know dudes with cash, right? they got cake like that. Type of money that when they tell the joke that you laugh, even if it ain't even funny, cause they got money that's powerful. Say it don't matter if he ugly, cause he got that bread. They don't care if he ugly. It's politics in this game, but ain't no politicians. And I ain't trying to be another one of fame's victims. Make Ooh. a name for myself, but never make a difference. Now that's all I gotta say. Root your ball, I don't wanna play. Uh, this make a name for myself, but ain't never make a difference? Yo, that's a bar. It doesn't matter if you made a name for yourself. Like, yeah, that's cool and all. You got the cash. You made it to the top, but what difference are you making in the world? Because at the end of the day, that's what really matters. Even when you die, even if they put your money in the grave, you can't take it with you. Gotta say, root your ball, I don't wanna play. Uh, and this is so disrespectful. Uh -huh. Sway, I try to tell them right now. Uh -huh. Going off the top, they know what it is right now. I gotta go in, but let me show them how I get down. I'm feeling like, uh, the meek shall inherit the earth. Why that is, unless you drop a meek verse, eat reverse. <laughs> Man, I got <laughs> the meek shall inherit the earth. It is unless you drop a meek verse, duh. Like meek mill? Why that is unless you drop a meek verse, eat reverse. <laughs> Man, I grew up on Nas, listening to Ether. You gotta come harder than that. And if you don't, they put that boy up on a t-shirt. Yo, he's talking, this is back when Meek Mill and Drake were beefing. He's like, you gotta come harder than what you came with on Meek's verse that when he was talking, when he was talking shit about Drake. Like Andy's like talking shit, calling him out, but it's like he's spitting that real shit at the same time. Like I'm not talking shit about you. I'm just talking shit about that whack ass verse that you put out. I grew up on Ether, which is arguably one of the hardest diss tracks of all time. Like you gotta come with some harder shit than you came with me if you wanna win in this in this battle. And everybody's like ooh and ah, and that's but that's because he they know he's right. And if you came with them whack bars that you came with me, Mill, you're gonna end up on the back of a t-shirt. You're gonna end up getting killed. You end up getting lost. Yo, that was hard. Come harder than that. And if you don't, they put that boy up on a t-shirt. Oh. I'm like, listen, <laughs> y'all gotta come better than that. No, I'm going off the hat. You know it's better than that. What's better than rap? Other day they dropped Compton. You know that that was Dre Day, but right now I'm in the studio. This is Sway Day. Ah. They going nuts over the bars. I'm calling that payday. Listen, oh, y'all not duh. People ain't even catching these bars. I don't even know if Sway's catching these bars. He said they did Compton. That was Dre Day. Like Dr. Dre came from Cotton Compton, but today's Sway Day because he's up in the studio with Sway. And he said, I go nuts with these bars. Like call it payday, dog. Like literally peanuts are just like payday is literally just caramel and peanuts. That's it. So nuts on the bars, like a, like a payday bar. Clean. They going nuts over the bars. I'm calling that payday. <laughs> Listen, y'all know how we do it. Five fingers of death. You know that that's the crazy music. But two fingers means peace. Three means war if you read between the lines beef. You know that's what I'm saying, but I ain't really messing with. Peace, read between the lines beef. Fire. Three means war if you read between the lines beef. You know that's what I'm saying, but I ain't really messing with him. So my man switched the beat up. I go and catch the rhythm any way they want to do it. Hold up, is this heavenly? Wait a minute, we missing somebody. Where's Heather B? I don't know where she act though. You know Yo, I knew that, that that line was coming when he said Heather Lee and then Heather B. She's like, Heather B, I don't know if she's the co-host, co-producer. I don't know what you would call her. But it's Heather B, Sway, and then Tracy G. Wait a minute, we missing somebody. Where's Heather B? I don't know where she act though. You know that I don't act slow. I come off the top and I bring it back though. 
Y'all know this how we doing with the Tracy G Sway in the morning every day It's how I get it B Get it and I'm heavenly When I represent You know that's how I get it in Every day and I will go and repent If I end up sinning a while And they calling in They asking me for some time I close the door on them dang Man why you had to do that You know I come through This is true rap You throw me a word and I'ma do that Any way you wanna do it That's how I'm feeling okay, Five fingers one. of death in the Hold up hold up I gotta get my mind ready for this There wasn't really no bars That he was spitting right there You could tell that he was just like Spitting in order to keep it going while he was waiting to see if there was going to be some words thrown at him and he was just talking about like you know repenting and and he's heavenly he's he's someone who's follows his christian spirit and i feel like this is one of the things that like rappers who 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 are i don't know about stereotype or who are categorized as christian rappers like it's harder for them to break out even though they have bars and even though they might have better flow and concept and song ideas and all of that they ha it's not a, i guess it is a stigma that they are quote unquote labeled as christian rappers so they only fit in that christian rap lane and like i've said plenty of times like someone like andy minio he, he yeah he's a christian rapper we know that he's he's like devoted to his faith but a lot of times his bars and his songs really aren't they really aren't preaching they're really not trying to like like throw the word of the lord in your face it's more like yo this is my life I believe in Jesus Christ. I follow I follow his path, but that doesn't mean that my music's going to always be about that at all times. My music is just a representation of my life and Christ happens to be a part of that, you know? I don't maybe like the last 4 or 5 Andy Minio tracks that I've done or made videos to, maybe like 10% of the bars, 15% of the bars even are even about Jesus. It's more just the human condition, you know? And why you had to do that? You know I come through. This is true rap. You throw me a word and I'm gonna do that. Oh, Any way you want to oh. do it. That's how I'm feeling. Okay. Okay. Is a death in the music. Genesis. We talking about the Genesis. Yo, ain't no other MC could probably step to this mess with this. You know I gotta come through when I represent. Every time I get it off the top with a dollar spent. Revelation. That don't make no sense about the revelation. You giving me all kinds of books. That's the situation. Okay, I see you right now. Let me tell you how I get it. Off the top, swing in the morning. Who don't forget proverbs. it? Talking about the proverbs. <laughs> see, like this is what I'm talking about. Like, like Andy's gonna go on top and he's gonna be able to talk about this, but like, it's like Sway is is putting him in that lane of a Christian rapper when he's botting this freestyle, he's botting just as much, if not more, than your normal traditional rapper. And before this, I mean, he really, like I said, now that he's talking about Christianity stuff now, because that's what Sway's giving him, but before he was giving him words, there was really not too much that was about that was about Christianity. Off the top, swing in the morning, who don't forget Proverbs. it? Talking about the Proverbs. Uh, I'm up in here looking like a hot nerd, cause I got the glasses on, and you know that's how I get it off the top, cause we wait too morning, uh. Noah's Ark. And the Noah's Ark. I gotta tell you about this, you know the flow is harsh. Yo, the way his face, he was like, what the fuck? But that transition into flow is harsh from Noah's Ark, that was fire. Noah's Ark. And the no is off. <laughs> I gotta tell you about this. You know the flow is harsh. I gotta hit him off the top, and I'm going hard. So get the tickets uncomfortable to a flow god. And you know that I'm talking about Corinthians, man. You know a lot more books than you was thinking then, man. I gotta show you how it is. I'm not Eminem, but the flow is just as hard. Let me go again, again. Hebrews, uh, man. I'm talking about the Hebrews. These dudes talking about me, but they news. They need to know, but y'all know how I get it in the morning. Hebrews, that hot tea, cause y'all knew. King Solomon. Hebrews, Hebrews, like Hebrews the hot tea like sipping on tea dough fire talking about the king solomon anybody stepping to me you know that i'm bombing them dropping Ooh. them off the top but then i go on again dang i'm gonna go off and then on again dropping them off of the top and then i go on again off and on just the wordplay right there the Baptist. John the Baptist, you know I'm flowing, this is Andy the Raptist I gotta tell you how it is off of the top, seeing the tactics And they trying to hate on the boy because I got glasses Mount but, Sinai mm, Talking about the Mount Sinai Y'all know how I'm flowing off the top, it's harsher than Sinai Oh my God, where am I gonna go from here? Y'all know this real, every top I go off the Your gear. place in hip-hop My place in hip-hop, well, I'm gonna say the bottom Because that's really the top, the first will be last If you know what I mean, uh, I'm going off And y'all know really where it is when I laugh uh, Yo, dude, he said my place in hip hop i'm talking about the bottom one because it's gonna be humble but also the bottom is the top dog fire if you know what i mean uh, i'm going off and y'all know really where it is when i laugh uh man i can't stop we could do seven fingers of death eight fingers of death let me represent i'm going ten fingers in ten toes deep y'all know how i go again yeah the boy flow again shout Come out on. reach records yeah shout out reach records my man lecrae you know that's how i'm getting desperate with the flow now because my mouth is getting a little sticky you know that's what i'm talking about because i need some agua with me Shout out to the homie that's KB 
be Derek Ma Flow getting sticky, I need some agua, need some water with me, but you can hear, you can like clearly hear that he is freestyling off the top. Cause he starts it off with the same thing every time, talking about whatever the word is, so that way his brain has a little bit of time to think. And you can tell that the beginning of this was more like freestyle raps in the sense that like he might have written down some fire bars that really didn't have any purpose. So he just put them all together and, cre and, and like compiled this freestyle because there was much more wordplay at the very beginning than there is right now. Right now, you can just tell that he's mainly sticking to just trying to get the rhymes out and trying to get the multi-syllable rhyme scheme so that way it still sounds clean, even if he's not doing so much wordplay. Everybody know that's how we flow, B. I got a shout out Trip Lee and where you been at? If you don't know them, you need to go their record ASAP. Get it. Uh. Andy Manny! Oh! Yeah. Oh. 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 You whack motherfuckers. <laughs> That's, if you don't know, that's one of Sway's like, uh, that's one of his signature things that after the end of a hard ass freestyle, he says that. Hey man, I'm not gonna give my normal spill at the end of a, a dope uh, performance by a rapper because I don't want to curse right now. <laughs> <laughs> See? See, that's what I'm saying. He normally grabs the mic and he says, you whack motherfuckers. Did you just see that? <laughs> you whack rappers. Talk your ish. <laughs> See? You whack rappers. It takes a lot of focus and determination takes a lot of skill and technique. It takes a lot of desire and hunger to do what Andy Minio just did. I understand if you're not ready. Honestly, I really understand if you're not ready, then don't come up here. But if you walk through that doorway, you better be prepared to spit. Yo, that was hot, dog. Damn, I was gonna try to come up with some wordplay right there after I said hot comma dog, like hot dog, but it was gonna be corny. Anyway, shit was fired, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Like he, he Andy and Lecrae and all these other like rappers that are signed to Reach Records or that like f that like compile the artists that are Reach Records, like they got bars. They got normal rap bars that people don't give them credit for because they are labeled as Christian rappers. And it almost seems like it's unfair to them as artists because they should be bigger than they are if that label wasn't placed on them. But at the same time, I know that they don't mind that label being placed on them because, you know, they are they are very devoted to the religion that they are talking about or that that's like core to their life so i don't think that they necessarily mind being called quote unquote christian rappers even if they're more just normal rappers who who intertwine christianity within their everyday life and sometimes in their bars because that's the truth that they live but it just means that they got to go and work twice as hard as another rapper who has similar bars because they got to overcome they got to overcome the view of being quote unquote a christian rapper and i think that people like andy minio lecrae kb all like i said all the dudes signed to reach records i think that they are up to that task but yo that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at The Third Earnest, just like the channel. Links are down in the description below. You want to talk to me and other people who are subscribed to the channel, hit up the Discord. I am in there almost daily, so you'll, you'll get a good shot of actually chatting it up, you know? But that's all that I really got for today, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate everybody's time. And like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.